everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me again today for another tutorial. We're going to be using the Yuppo paper today with our alcohol inks and our blending solution. And I'm going to create some backgrounds like this that's actually printed onto matte card and that's via the Yuppo just giving you a really nice sort of textured coloured background and it's easy to stamp onto. So I'm using the alcohol pearl inks along with a few of the others. Um, I think these come as a set actually um, but they're really nice together, they're nice, they work really well together. I'm going to start with a yellow and then some blending solution. This is just my base. So taking my blending tool and that we're we're kind of ready to go now. So just going to dot this about and you can see how much it all starts spreading. I'm just going to break that up a little bit. I want to get as much detail and layers and textures as I can before I take the print. So again, just using a different colour. This is salmon and then we shall go back to the blue. This is the pearl blue. You have to excuse my silence with this, I start to concentrate and uh, forget that I'm even on the camera, <laughs> so just bear with me. And we can see we've got some nice sort of textures building up now, ready to take our print. But of course you can keep going for as long as you want. Something quite therapeutic about doing the alcohol inks, I must admit. Right, do we want any more colour? Maybe maybe a little bit of blue. I might just put that on here. Okay. Right, let's dry that off now. It will dry really quick because it's all alcohol based so only take a few seconds just to dry completely. And then we're going to use the alcohol lift ink. So I'm simply going to just bob a little bit along the top there. It's nice and thick so it's easy to control. And then I'm going to just blend that over the top with the brayer. And then I'm going to place my card over the top of that and give that a good press down. Okay. 
and there we go and that gives us just a really nice textured card lots of pattern and colour and of course you can use whatever colours you want and um, these are what I'm using today um, and the beauty of it is that you don't then have to throw that away you can then take another print you can add more to it um, and again when it's dry use your alcohol lift ink along the top like I showed you brayer over the colour and put your card down give that a good press and take the next print and you can do a, a batch of cards like I have just off one print so I just wanted to share that with you for today just as a different way of creating a background so thanks for watching guys speak to you soon take care everyone bye for now